everybody's excited about this one. Always plenty of fast rallies. What's not to love about men's doubles when these two power-laden, tall, towering men take to court? Led out by Lee jun Wee. The top seeds alongside the UK. They were number ones in the world back in August 2017, currently playing off a ranking of three. Sixth in the race. A win today would really bolster that. Liu Chen from China. Liu Chen out first, the former men's doubles BWF world champion of Glasgow in 2017. Alongside Jan Nan, who he beat last night. Here today, he's playing with Huang Kexiang. Just behind him. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. It's all about the start for these two, with the eight seeds. Just trying to G themselves up already. They have met just the once before. And, uh, well, no surprise it went the way of Lee and Liu. That was at the Korean Open in September. Coming through in a very close third game. Look at that, 22-20 in the decider. So let's hope for a similar kind of contest today. No doubt they'll be feeling a certain sympathy for their uh, compatriot, Shi Yuqi, who went down in the uh, men's singles just recently. But, uh, well, we're going to have a Chinese winner here. Of that, we are sure. Which one of these two teams can come through in this all-Chinese clash? Li Yunhui, 24 years old, from Yao Ning. As I said, has been up to uh, one in the world, but that was a couple of years ago now. They could do with a strong finish to the year, and this would really help give them a, an abundance of points. Liu Yuchen. So they will be heading to Guangzhou should they make it and currently they're sixth in the race full of confidence as defending champions. There's their path through yet to drop a game fairly emphatic. Just a tight second game in that semi-final but only extended and detained on court for no more than 40 minutes. It's been dominant and dictatorial. Now, what if their opponents? Huang Keqiang in the background of the picture in the blue and white, 23 years old. Yeah, currently ranked 35 with his partner. They've been together up to a ranking of 10 in the world. That was back in June 2017. And his uh, highly decorated partner, Liu Chung. Four years older at 27. From Fujian. Been up to two in the world with that effort, winning the BWF World Championships in Glasgow. And this is their path through again, unblemished as well. Yet to concede a game. How about that? And a very similar look, wasn't it? And their second game in the semi-final as well was taken to 22-20. So uh, there's not been a lot between them. They've been uh, fairly plain sailing. No real major bumps in the road on the path of these two teams to the final. Our umpire, Suparwal from India. And service judge Richard Wong from Australia, just opposite him. Kind of regular feature now, hasn't it? The uh, serving device that they stare through to ensure that the serves aren't struck above 115 centimeters in height. Well, service judge Jeff has just given the shuttles a bit of a shake. I hope he's got plenty there because the team in black, for sure, they rip the shuttle apart and it needs uh, changing on a regular basis. But Huang and Liu, they've only played 10 tournaments together and progressed to four quarterfinals, two semi-finals this season. The Asian Masters and the Akita Masters as well. But Liu, very much a man of experience, used to partner Zhang Nan and when he finished with Fu Haifeng, with whom Zhang Nan won 
gold in the 2016 Summer Olympics. After that, he partnered at Liu. They then won in Glasgow, the world champs. But subsequent to that, these two have hooked up. And it's been a pretty fruitful partnership. Although by Chinese standards, perhaps not. And they resurrect their ranking. It seems a, a little lowly given the talent of these two. 35 in the world up against these two world number threes. A generous hand greets them. Men's doubles final. Paul Hand to take you through it. Great having you along with me. Start very alert. Tallest man on court, leap one meter ninety three. Slow to get going there. Wheeling out the big guns, the top seats, unleashing the fury on the shuttle. They do that with nonchalant ease. Break, change of racket. Some players elect to cut out the strings immediately so that the frame won't buckle. Some players can't be bothered. Well, there's a contented purr in the crowd because they've had plenty of badminton to watch here and been treated. So they seem really relaxed watching this one. Pretty packed house, actually. Full stands all around. Thank you. 
times, varying the smash lines and speeds. Getting the eight seeds on the back foot very early in the point. Maybe tension of the occasion. Service error from former world number two. Yu Chen. Oh! Oh! Hold on, ranking. There's 32 spots between these two teams, so it should be a little lopsided. Scoreboard starting to look that way now. 10-5 to the good for the men in black. Oh, oh. Oh, that was loaded with pace, wasn't it? Well, accelerating out of the gates here. Liu Yuchen and Li Junhui through to the mid-game interval. The six point cushion, 11 points to five, they lead. Talk about who will stand above the rest to claim this title. These two stand tall, the stand tall, the towering Chinese top seeds looming, threatening over these two who are struggling to really get their scoreboard moving much. Oh, nicely done! Very, very cool. Oh, that's nice. Stone in the court right now, aren't they? Taking control, dictating with authority in most zones of it. 15-6, they lead. Lee Junhui. Watch 
watch this. Just a couple of languid strides out there and crashes that one away. Another string's gone. <laughs> He's been through a few already, hasn't he? Crowd are finding it pretty amusing. Juan Kessian, I wonder how many he's got in his bag. Can be about six or seven, you'd imagine. He'd have his partner's rackets next. Smooth sailing for the top seeds. Two points away from the opening game. Oh. Do you know, it's funny, isn't it? Because sometimes you just play opponents whose game fits like a hand on a glove. It just seems almost effortless. Well, after 11 minutes, Liu and Lee, 12 game points. And they only need one. They made very light work of that opening first game against Huang and Liu. So just over 10 minutes played and the top seeds are absolutely rampant out here, smoking through that opener. A very commanding, bullying badminton. 21 points to eight. Well, the top seeds continue to impress here in this lopsided men's doubles final so far. 21 points to eight, the opening game. Here we are at the start of game number two. Can the eight seeds make some sort of inroads here on what's been a really impeccable showing from the top seeds? Well, our players out very, very keenly to resume here at the start of game two. It's, uh, strangely, one-sided men's doubles. All Chinese clash, top seeds. Absolutely dictatorial here. side of that miss. A lot of pace from the former world number two there. A real injection of speed to the body of the John Wheat. Nice. Good reflexes from the 
shortest athlete on the court, but he's pretty sprightly. Let's see it again. Look at that. Closes it down as well to compound the pressure on Liu Yuchen. They've looked again two already encouragingly. Oh. 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 First time in the match. The eight seeds, oh. the underdogs here. Oh, made a bit of a breakthrough. They've got the lead. Oh. Spilt long as well, but he doesn't think so, Liu Yuchen. He wants it challenged. So the beating heart signifying that we are having a look. Good call from the lines, Judge. because it was struck so flat and hard and relatively low. Six, three, it looks sometimes like it might have skidded through the line from a player's perspective. shuttle as he anticipated. Oh, oh it's a good leave. It only just spilt wide. Well, that's all it needs to be. change up from Liu Chen.
bullying their way through to parity in game two. The top seeds. Well, the underdogs making a fist of this, the world number 35s. Putting themselves much better in game two. Already surpassing their tally of points of eight in game one. And it is they, Huang and Liu, that take the 11-8 lead in the second game. Perhaps a turnaround here. So the eight seeds piling on the pressure over the top seeds here. They had a good win over the Chinese number fours in the round prior, Wu Tian Yi and Zhang Nan, former partner, of course, of Liu Chong. They reached uh, the real, almost the pinnacle of the men's doubles game. Nicely done. Just when you thought the team at the top of your picture had control of the point, it was a great turnaround here. Look at this. Challenge crazy. He's becoming a little gung ho with them at the moment, but he thinks he's seen this hit the line. In. Can you believe it? He hit that with so much venom. Did Liu Chung?
his way to victory in that one. It was a no-nonsense, non-negotiable point, wasn't it? And the top seeds got the battering ram out in the end. <laughs> Just forced his way through. Well, it's become a much more competitive affair, hasn't it, since the start of game two, when these two came blazing out of the blocks really quickly. Not really looked back since. When they looked overmatched in the opening game, it's been a big turnaround. Oh, no way! They were out of that point! Quan and Liu, Liu should check their back pockets. That point was stolen from them. Remarkable defence from Liu. Liu Chen. That was incredible. Yes, saw him sneak in or sprint in. Just a little delicate loft over the top. That would unnerve a lot of players, but uh, not the top seeds. They kept their cool. effort from all four players lighting it up now on court men's doubles magic in full swing right there Explosive winners seemingly at will, the top seeds. Such is their power. Good low serve, kept it very tight. And even the eight seeds are able to do a lot with that, although they were keenly trying to pounce all over it. underdogs
Oh. Well, you've got to feel a little sympathy there for Juan Kessian, who was absolutely all over the court at once, seemingly there, like a blur. But the top seeds still managed to turn that around with some style. break off the top of the net and they're still within reach of closing this out in straight games the top seeds this doubles always provides a lot of electricity and sizzle to events like this because of their sheer speed you should have done that I told you so it's that kind of look to that conversation or dictation Married couple there for a minute, didn't they? So now these two up against it. This could well swing the way of the eight seeds. Just two points away from drawing level. A few psychological games going on. Return is stepping away from the court. Now he could pay a heavy price for that miss. It's okay, I'll bring it back. Good speed agility from Juan. Drew the error from Lee. And now it's two game points. Going the way of the underdogs. Oh, it's dropped over the net. How about that on game point? A little bit of luck favoring Liu and Huang. They take the second game and keenly march around the chair to contest the third upcoming. Don't go anywhere, we're gonna have a deciding game just after a very short break. 21-18 in favor of Huang and Liu Chong. Well, players back for game three. Simply not much between these two teams. Not right now, anyway. There was from the end of the opening game, 21 points to eight. It was won by the men in black at the top of your picture, the top seeds. And heavy favorites, ranking-wise, but they've been pegged back by the Chinese number five pair.
when you sensed originally that you know it would be all about Huang and Liu making it kind of respectable. Far from it now. It's got the look of a very even match. Certainly the scoreline is. Oh yes, nice dispatch from Fleet at the net. time inside though he's not showing it there as if he does it all the time so nonchalantly look how cool I am let's see it again there it is and in for the kill <laughs> well done Badminton en route here. Don't they twin effectively, though? Liu Chang and Huang Kixiang. He is so quick. Not just a game of bone crushing power, of which the black team have plenty. It's all about speed, agility, and being able to close down that net fast when you need to. And he's not shy of a power smash himself either. Not in the same league as the opponents, but oh. 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 Looked a little blasé that though, didn't it? Serve nicely there. Oh. Yep, playing with pen, plenty of pace. The service, Huang and Yu. away from them. And these guys not shy of confidence having just downed Wu and Zhang oh! last night. So See, it's neat to step it up here. been called out but 
Liu Yuchen doesn't like it, so uh, the finger went up immediately and he gestured that he wanted it to be challenged, although he has to shout that out as well. The, opponent can't be, the, the umpire can't always be looking at him. Yeah, it is long. Challenge spell no desperation sense. They could do with a win here to almost cement their spot in the HSBC race to Guangzhou. This man, very experienced, having been up to two in the world, as we said, with that uh, recognition that he plays the big moments very, very well, having become a former world champion just a couple of years ago in Glasgow. That's big badminton from the underdogs. They're really taking control now. These two, it's become head scratching. Serving them well. Oh! Oh! Well, he's frustrated with that call of fault from the service judge. I can understand why. Where they look down and out after game one. It's been a huge turnaround here. Seven-year-old reprimanded. So to the turn go the underdogs, the eighth seeds, Huang Keqiang and Liu Chung. Eleven six to the good, bolstered and a cushion of five points. What will unfold next? Young and Liu Chung but only ventured as far as a couple of semi final showings this year. That's as deep as they've been. That was in Indonesian Masters and Akita Masters as well. Maybe go one further to that, two further. Oh! Get to the W. Walk off with the title here. That would be quite something, quite a coup for these two. Bragging rights back home as well, saying they've beaten the top Chinese pair. Losing their grip. Oh, oh. oh it's missed. Can you believe it? There might be 
big repercussions to that further down the line. Smash is coming their way and then getting on top of the point. That was really nicely done. Top seeds, can they make it a hat trick of consecutive points? How do they deal with the big moments, these two? They're taking a real good snapshot over the next few minutes into their psyche. Do they really believe they can down the Chinese top pair? Still got a comfort cushion, cushion of four points. Is it enough? Breathing for Mr. Juan. sure if the 
eight seeds lose this from here, they will be wriggling around in their beds tonight. They had a 14-7 lead, which became 17-12 oh, in this decider. Since then, it's been four consecutive points for the top seeds. Oh, yes, hey, helped from the net cord. That might be key. It was a very brave return of serve, but he gets rewarded for his courage. Stops the run of points at four for Lee and Yu. So these two in the picture just three points away from the title. champion in 2017 in the men's doubles discipline really needs to bring some of that excellence to the foreground right now and he does just that responding in the nick of time Juan and Liu you sense closing in now that was a really big return of serve that set the tone for the point on the front foot. Closing in on what might be a big upset right here. Right. It's just gone long. I thought he'd landed it. Hard in the moment, mouth there. Hard in the mouth moment, rather. See, it's still not done with this. Oh, might. Utterly oh. focused. to get here in the semi-finals. Here they are on the cusp of the title. Look at this. One championship point saved. Still these two have another. Controversial. Liu Chung suggesting that what perhaps the big man hit the net. I'm not entirely sure, but there's a little bit of a hullabaloo out here on court. A bit of a protest from these two. Anyhow, two. Match points have come and gone, and uh, the top seeds have shown a lot of character. Oh. Hanging in there. What a scrap this is. Deadlock in game three. point the other way oh. 
Well, what do you know? How brave. They've saved two match points. It's a timely second title for Li Junhui and Liu Yuchen. And, well, a red card has been issued to Liu Chen to sour the moment a little. He is utterly frustrated. This is how it happened. They lose the match, and he's bubbling over with frustration, understandably. A couple of championship points, which would have been their first title of the year, go begging. So, denied the title. That goes in favour of the top seeds. Job done for them. And, uh, well, champions again in 2019. As they were at the Malaysian Open. Confirmation of the scoreline that Liu Junwei and Liu Yuchin coming through. 21-8, 18-21, 22-20 in that lengthy affair. Wow.